Browns have released their first unofficial depth chart. So let's take a look. Uh, we'll look at it. Offense, uh, not a whole lot of surprises. You know, you got Cooper. Then the line is Batonio at uh, and Teller at the guards. Tackles Conklin and Wills. Harris at center and Joku is the tight end. Peoples Jones. So it's uh, kind of what you would expect um, from the the offensive side of things. Yeah, the only two things that jumped out at me a little bit were now they're listing Johnny Stanton the fourth as a tight end. They don't even have fullback on there, which he's been practicing a lot of tight end, but you know, maybe they just didn't want to use a spot for fullback. But it's interesting because he's more of a fullback to me. Um, and then, you know, we talked about Drew Forbes a little earlier, and they still have Blake Hans ahead of him on the depth chart, but it'll be interesting to see because those, you know, the depth chart obviously is unofficial. Interesting to see how um Kevin Stefanski plays those guys Friday night in Jacksonville. Yeah, and you know the the other thing is Stanton that you could keep him as a tight end, and then you, you if you d decide you want to use him as a fullback, boy, we got a guy that can you can line up at fullback that knows what we're doing. Uh, all right, let's look on the defensive side of the ball. And again, it's not these are unofficial depth charts. Um, of note, Elliott and Bryant, the the two in the inside of the tackles. Um, that are listed as starters. Uh, the parentheses mean that currently injured uh, Denzel Ward. Uh, but again, nothing of a surprise. I mean, Phillips and, and uh, Anthony Walker co-starters at the uh, that middle linebacker spot. Yeah, I, I think that shows the respect that the coaches have for Anthony Walker Jr. They don't want to bump him down this early in training camp. You know, I think they really respect what he does for this team, especially as a leader. And they think he can play and he'll, you know, I think he'll find a role even if he isn't the starter. Um, what that does show you is to me, a lack of depth at not the Walker part, but in general, the depth chart, a lack of depth at linebacker, right? He's got Tony Fields, a second and Dakota Allen um, is the other two second string linebackers. You know, Tony Fields had no impact as a rookie last year was, you know, not healthy or sick or just didn't play very much at all. Um, you know, Dakota Allen, I couldn't tell you much about, even though I'm watching every day. So um, that feels like a position where maybe there's some additions, you know, it cuts or, you know, like we talked about trades, like that feels like a position maybe the Browns um, feel like they might have to upgrade before we get to week one.